Cuba, it's me. Welcome to episode 329 of The Willow Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life. Life is Wrestling. Today is part 22 of my Ontario promotion spotlight. I'm going through every act of promotion in Ontario um, in alphabetical order and just trying to give them a brief profile, brief spotlight. Uh, so the next one on my list is Hamilton Pro Wrestling, HPW. Now, Hamilton Pro Wrestling actually started as the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy which it still is in about, I believe it was around August 2016 or so. And um, the owner operator is Rip Impact, a man who's traveled around the world, who has lived and breathed wrestling. This has been his only job since he was like, oh, probably only like 18. Um, me and Rip wrestled each other a couple times uh, back when we were both uh, getting breaking into the business. And uh, he was always such a great mind for the business and uh, definitely deserves to be teaching people. So, um, they started out as an academy, with, like I said, which they still are. They currently have an Instagram, a Facebook, and a Twitter, and a YouTube that I could find. And um, so there's not as much to talk about as far as show goes, because uh, they've had three shows so far. Uh, three cello shows, which is great. So this is someone you're, somewhere you're going to want to go to train, because um, not only do you get trained by a, a great trainer and coach, there's also a lot of times guest people that come in, like guest trainers. I know I've seen the hacker Scotty O'Shea, Justin Sane, Steve Brown, a couple, of, lots of them, and they've had seminars. I know they had an All Ego Ethan Page seminar recently. So not only are you going to get trained the right way, by um, and also surrounded by a great group of guys, because see, a lot of those guys from the Hamilton Wrestling Academy have been doing a lot of shows recently and uh, I've been on a couple shows with some of them and they're all willing to help they all have the good attitude they all um, are passionate about the business and uh, are going about it the right way so not only you're gonna get trained well they've also started running shows as of last year I believe September they had the first one back to school so it must have been around August September of last year so not only you're gonna get experience before you go out and start working shows there's a lot of people pushing for Hamilton Pro Wrestling and they have a lot of friends and Rip has a lot of contacts and they must have about, man, like probably 10 guys now that started there about a year and a half ago that are currently working for numerous promotions in Ontario. And, um, and not only that, doing well for themselves, winning titles, being in main events. A lot of them are breaking out the gate fast. And so if you wanna, if you live around the Hamilton area, this is where you want to go for the school. And so you'll get matches. They do the, the Hamilton Pro Wrestling Academy match, uh, the shows. And so the first one was back to school. And uh, I believe it was the last September, maybe the end of August, because that's usually when school is getting back, usually about the first week of September. And I do know for a fact they do sell uh, DVDs of their past shows and shirts at the shows as well. And um, so then they had, uh, they did so well, the first show sold out which shows you just the kind of support they have, that they did uh, another show called Lightning Strikes Twice. And uh, that show was uh, well-received, well-received for sure. And then I kind of missed the boat on this one, but I am trying to do it alphabetical order. They just had a show yesterday, which I probably should have, knowing this, I didn't realize, um, I should have done an episode on Hamilton Pro Wrestling like three days ago so I could have helped promote the show. But you know what? I didn't need to because it was sold out again, so it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have made a difference. Um, I haven't been able to find any results from the show as it just happened yesterday. Um, I went a lot through their Facebook. Um, I don't have Instagram. I Twitter is... Uh, I find Facebook more useful. So I was going through their Facebook page, Hamilton Pro Wrestling, and uh, the one result I do know from the show is um, they partnered with No Limits Wrestling, who recently had their first show, and... Um, they had they have the strong style champion, which I believe it was Josh Alexander that won that in a tournament. And um, so what happened is at the main event of the last night show, the three count show, we had a rematch between Brett Michael David and Jake Heavyweight Jones. And whoever won this, um, No Limits and Hamilton Pro Wrestling made a deal. Whoever wins this match would get a shot at Josh Alexander in their April. I think it's April twenty first. Uh, if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. Uh, and so I do know that Jake Heavyweight Jones was one, the one that won, and he will be taking on Josh Alexander on April 21st. And that's one thing I really love about Hamilton Pro Wrestling, too. 
they've partnered with so many different companies. Um, like if you just go through their Facebook, anytime they have students that are on a show, they help promote that show. Like I know they promoted, um, there was like a death proof show where they were all on it. There was like the iron cup show. There was the no limit show. They had like a gauntlet match. They were featuring in that rookie wrestling roundup tournament. Um, I know Brett Michael David and Dylan Daniels both had a fantastic 2017. It's real breakout years for both of them. And um, they wrestled all over in tons of different promotions against each other and uh, did real well for themselves. So basically, um, I'm probably forgetting some, but they are always partnering. Uh, I know they did have a bunch of talent on MCW shows. I've seen a couple of the guys on the PWA for the, the, the Rumble or the Battle Royal or whatever you want to call it. And uh, a lot of, I'm, I know I'm missing some, and I apologize for that, but I, I don't have time to write it all down, so I just try and remember as much as I can. But so that's really good if you're planning on being a student there because it's going to open up doors and opportunities too, and especially if you have a group of guys and you're going with a car, just tag along because these guys might be working, but they might need an extra guy or they you might just make some contacts. So check it out, they're doing real well for themselves. A great wrestling school and a great wrestling promotion with three sold out shows. Um, but I wanna hear from you guys, because as always on The Willow Show, I love to hear the, the comments from the viewers to tell me stuff. Um, I haven't personally gone to the school. Uh, I was talking to Rip at the one show, uh, I actually interviewed him on The Willow Show for like four or five minutes. And um, he was like, yeah, you should come down and check it out whenever you can. And I've been meaning to do that and I would love to do that. But, um, Make sure you check out their school, check out their shows, follow their students because you want to jump on the bandwagon when these guys are starting because a lot of these guys are going to go on to success and talent and great careers. So you want to possibly be following these guys when they come out the gates. So uh, you don't want to down the road say, oh, now I'm a fan. Like it's good to jump on the bandwagon while you have the chance. So check them out, but I want to hear from you guys. Have you ever been to a show for Hamilton Pro Wrestling? Have you ever trained at this school? Um, have you ever seen any of their students perform on any of the other shows that you've been to? And what did you think? What did you like? What did you dislike? And as always on The Willow Show, make sure you like or you get a leg drop, comment or you get a clothesline, subscribe or you get a suplex. I'm your host, Elian Habanero. I love wrestling. Cuba!